Hi, Rob Papen here. We made Subboom Bass compatible to the Anker S system of native instruments, which means that you can use their own browser to select presets. But we added also a very nice range of dials, which I'm going to explain to you now. With Subboom Bass we added 70 pages. The first page is most important if you want to change the sound very fast. You will find cutoff and resonance of the filter. Also the volume decay and volume release, which is very important with bass sounds or sequence sounds. And there is FX1 mix, FX1 type, FX2 mix and FX2 type. Keep in mind that some presets of Subboom Bass might not even use FX, like this sound. But if you like to add them, you can do it here. At page 2 you can find some filter settings, like the velocity, the envelope and LFO. For cutoff and resonance you have to go back to page 1. This is also the reason why we put these other filter controls at page 2. At page 3 we will find the oscillator 1 settings with wave, symmetry of the waveform, semi, fine tune, the sub oscillator, pulse width modulation, speed and the volume of the oscillator. At page number 4 we will find oscillator 2 with the same setup as oscillator 1. From page 5 on we get some setups which also depends on which preset you are using. If you like editing subboom bass, I'm sure you will like them a lot. Page 5 has from oscillator 2 the FM amount, FM mode and sync option to synchronize oscillator 2 to oscillator 1. Then we have the setting for the filter which pass it follows, the type which is used by filter 1 and control the distortion which is pre-filter or in case of the vowel filter you can adjust the vowel here. Then there is a filter 2 inside subboom base and here you can select the type and control the cutoff. At page 6 you will find the play mode. This arranges how Subboom Bass plays, in legato mode or for instance using the sequencer. There's also unison mode and unison detune amount. And the portamento or glide can be adjusted here. You also can find the pitch LFO settings for adding vibrato to your sound. Predator also has free envelopes and free LFOs. These you can find at page 7 for the free envelope and page 8 for the free LFO. Page 9 until page 17 are fully dedicated to the sequencer of Subboom Bass. Page 9 holds the average parameter controls like swing, slide and so on. Please check the manual if you don't know yet how this extensive sequencer works. 
in general, some overlook this option here. If the box is set to free, it means that it displays the free row and the velocity row down here. The free row is a row which you can address to any parameter of subboom base by using the modulation matrix. If you select in this box oscillator, it means that down here it displays oscillator 1 and oscillator 2, its waveform. Because essentially each step can have its own waveform. So this page here you use for building wave sequences. Ok, but let us go back to the controls. Subboom Base has two sequences, A and B. And the way they play, you select in this box here. You can select either sequence A, sequence B, or make a split keyword setup. Even other functions like top and join are possible. Please check out the manual to see how this works. But what we added to this dial setup in the NKS system is that you can tune the sequence A, tune sequence B, and also control of both of them the velocity. So page 10 and 11 are the tuning of each step for sequence A. Page 12 and 13 are the tuning of each step of sequence B. Page 14 and 15 arranges the velocity setting of each step of sequence A. And page 16 and 17 arrange the velocity of sequence B. Of course it is wise to select here sequence A or sequence B if you want to adjust them. 